Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. You know of all the techniques used for catching bass, most anglers will agree that nothing even comes close to the sheer heart-pounding acceleration of topwater. It's the only method whereby the angler is actually able to see the strike on a consistent basis. Also, it seems that one is seldom completely ready for the strike, no matter how intense the level of concentration. You know, a big fish exploding on a lure and a shower of spray can and is a sight to behold. Come on, let me show you. You know, in the family of surface plugs, buzz baits are about the only one that are constantly moving at all times. You can't stop this one and twitch it, chug it, pop it, plunk it on top like other top waters. This one here is made for one thing, and that's to create continuous commotion topside. Wait a minute, or is there? Yes, there is. This one here is called the buzz plug. You can buzz it, stop it, let it float, twitch it, start it up again. There are a few tricks that can be performed to make a good buzz bait better. If it's got the proper sound and if it's fished with the correct presentation in an ideal location at the right time, you'd better hang on. Speaking of presentations, let's success it. Buzz baits produce best at a slow speed. The slower you can present it, the more attractive it'll be, and the easier it'll be for the fish to get it. There's some good one. Easy does it. See the thing I like about that little bait, you can run it and you can stop it. Whereas most of those bait, you have to continually run them, keep them moving at all times. But that one, you can stop it as you run it along, stop it and start it, stop it and start it. But they seem to want it today. They just want it just to continually move in it. That's a pretty fair fish. You liked it too, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Big old long slinky fish. Okay, buddy. We'll turn you loose. See ya. So you can run that bait like that and just stop it. It's fished by casting it out. Once it hits the surface, Engage your reel and begin your retrieve. This will lift the lure up and start it moving across the surface. Once it's in gear turning its way, it's best to create several slow retrieves, changing the movement of the lure from slow to even slower, and back to slow again, stopping it along the way. This method creates an attractive erratic action, which is a highly productive presentation. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly.
Today's Conditions Log is sponsored by Outdoor Water Solutions, offering pond and lake aeration systems with energy-saving solutions, including solar and wind, customized to fit your need. Visit OutdoorWaterSolutions.com for quality aeration products. There he is. Good one. Get my pliers. Like I said, I'd never be a doctor. Huh. But I got him. Yes, I did. You ready to go home? Okay, let's go. Earlier I mentioned another important element in a buzz bait is sound. Now, fishermen are always experimenting with these type lures trying to come up with which one produces the best sound. Well, it's true. Some produce a sound that's very attractive to bass, while others alert bass to either ignore what it is or spook them away. Certain sounds are an everyday thing in the world of a fish. And from the time a fish is a fingerling, he learns quickly to associate certain sounds with food. Now don't ask me what the sound of a buzz bait duplicates, because I really don't know. Maybe it sounds like a crippled bait fish on the surface, or maybe a toy air boat. I don't really know. But what I do know, if it's got an inviting sound, a bass's curiosity won't let it get by. He may not smack it, but he'll take a close look. Now it's your job to make him eat it. And this is done by changing the action of the lure, or by following up your cast with several in the same place. Besides a buzzbait having good sound, every bass lure, if it's to catch fish, must have other features to attract the bass's attention. Some of these would be size, color, shape, action, and as I said earlier, a slow, erratic retrieve. Someone recently said, Bill, have you ever found the perfect rod for quarter to five eighths ounce lure weights? No, but I did find and design the rod I'm using today for Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. The perfect action into what I believe is the sweetest six foot 10 medium bass rod I've ever fished. So sweet, it feels like an extension of my arm when I cast it. It's ideal for quarter ounce to five eighths ounce lure weights. Try it, <laughs> you're gonna love it. What's so fun about this bait? It's like bird hunting. You just it's a, you're walking up on a covey, of, a covey of quail. And they just, just they just come up. You know they're there. The dog's on point. And you're just easing up on them. You know that fish is right there. He just boom, boom blows up on it. We got a fire going over there behind us. We smell the smoke. We can hear the fire crackling. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what, if you wanna get back in the pond, in the lake, you just best calm down. Today's show is brought to you in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum, performance tuned. Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. And Tracker Boats, fish the finest. 
today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Bite your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Get out of that cover. Yes, sir. There it is. It's a pretty one, isn't it? You got it good. Going bye bye. You know, we talk about this a lot, but it's still important to remember that a bass is sometimes difficult to hook with a buzz bait when you try to set the hook too quick. Now, if you jerk too soon, what you do, you're pulling that lure away from the fish. When a fish comes up and hits a topwater bait, like a buzz bait or any type of topwater bait, He's sucking in air, he's pulling in your lure, and he's pulling in water all at the same time. But if you can just pause just a few seconds before setting the hook, just wait until you feel the fish, then bust him. A bass has a hard time taking in food that's moving across the top of the surface. Just think about what I just said, about the air, the water, and your lure all at the same time, especially when it's moving. So he's got a suction pump mouth but he's got to engulf the water, the air, and, and all of that at the same time. So if you jerk too quick, you're going to be the one that uh, feels like a jerk. You know, I'm asked from time to time, just how far can a bass hear a lure moving along the surface? This I really can't answer. However, I've seen a bass dart 20 to 25 feet and blast a lure. Something else you might find interesting is that the liquid medium in which the bass lives transmits sound like a zip of electricity through a power line. Because of its density, water carries sound impulses five times faster beneath the surface than it does across land or through the air. While the sound above water is traveling over a thousand foot radius, one below the surface will have moved at a rate to cover 5,000 feet. Related to lapse time, underwater sound requires only one second to travel a mile. That fact alone makes it pretty obvious that a bass can hear a great distance. You just don't want to overpower this thing. Just throw it out there and just kind of slow roll it. It's got an original name. It's called, are you ready for this? The Buzz Plug. <laughs> Not hard to remember. Just think of a fishing plug that buzzes. The buzz plug. Oh, good night, that's looking off when he hit it. Oh, hit my. See, makes me so mad when I do that. Jumping over there now. Sister Mary Sally. Look what that buzz plug has done there. Now look at that. And I was looking off when he hit it. Hello. Oh. Ain't that something? That's over eight pounds. And it was all done on the buzz plug. 
Let's go home. Is that something? Yes, it was. Oh. The Bill Dance question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light salt water, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Is there a set time for free spawn bass? Bass activity is determined by weather, which is unpredictable. Weather patterns control water temperatures, which determines bass activity. Sometimes spring is early, sometimes it's late. It can vary by regions of the country and even regions of a reservoir. But don't sweat the variables. See it as a challenge, not a frustration. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Garmin Force Trolling Motors, fish with force. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Pan Optics all seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. You know, I'm always looking for a better monofilament line. No more, I found one. Pralines XL. XL's formula has 20% greater knot strength, 50% greater wet strength, and 20% more flexibility than the original formula. What more can you ask for? Berkeley XL. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. I can't overemphasize the importance of concentration on your retrieve when fishing lures of this type. You know, it's imperative that you establish a rhythm when fishing any type of topwater bait, but especially so when you're fishing buzz baits. Now, like I said earlier, you know, I tried stopping this bait, run it a little bit and then stop it, and then twitch it a little bit and then stop it, start it up and twitch it a little bit. But they don't want it that way. They want a slow, steady retrieve with this bait today. Large bass are not tailored for long pursuit and normally will not chase a fast-moving lure. You know, when I think back over the years, the really big fish that I've been fortunate enough to catch, or I should say the majority of good fish I've been fortunate enough to catch, have been caught on fishing slow presentation baits. Lures like plastic worms, a jig, free falling spinner baits, slow wobbling crank baits, and by fishing a buzz bait at a slow pace. There's no doubt about it, a slow presentation with a lure like this is going to be a lot more attractive. And when the strike does occur, the slow presentation will enable the fish the chance of getting the lure. But I like this bait from the standpoint you can throw it the way the hooks are set up, it's got a saddle hook on it, two hooks that ride up, and you can just throw it back in vegetation and keep your rod tip up and just, you can ease it over most forms of vegetation. Oh, good night, do you see that? One hit right there. Got it. 
You showed yourself, old boy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Drag. You little rascal, you. Tough, strong fish. You didn't like the buzz plug, did you? Huh? Didn't like the buzz plug, did you? Okay, let me. Uh, all right, all right, calm down. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna tell you right now. That thing right there, these are hooks or a, something to get out. There we go. A good way to end the day. Yes, you are. Bye bye. Woo! What a day. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of fun. You know, there's just something mighty special about topwater fishing. If you can fool a surface feeder into striking, you'll experience one of the greatest thrills in England. If you've never tried buzzing up a bass, well, you ought to give it a try. This kind of fishing we call topside commotion is simply tops. Sure hope you've enjoyed our outing today, and we hope to see you again next week at the same time. Make plans to join us. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today.